Good morning, Cersei High School. Today is January 24th, 2011, and you're watching Lion TV Jumpstart. Sure are. I'm Corey Webb. And I'm Jordan Morris. Next up, we've got Jordan Morris with sports. That's me. And Lake and Isom with your local weather. Now let's That's me. Now let's take a look at the question of the day. Your question is You want to ask me first? Can I have it? Yeah, you can. Your question is where was the number 0 invented? Hmm. Is it A, India, B, Asia, C, Europe, or D, Canada? I bet it's A, Asia. <laughs> that answer will come later in the show. <laughs> All right. So, I'm driving home the other day. I, bet. I was out like Kensett, you know, I was driving around out there, and There's then I was like, well, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go shopping at Walmart, and so I'm about to pull into Walmart, and then I look, and I'm like, wow, there's a bunch of tents on the side of the road <laughs> in this new building that I hadn't seen, and so, like, and I was like, what the heck, so I pulled in there, and then me and Carl got the camera out and started filming, and this is what we got. Well, that's really weird, because I was going to Chili's, and I was like, let's not go to Chili's, let's go to this place beside it. Here's the story. Last week, in this parking lot, people were pitching their tents and getting ready for the long haul. I've always wanted to be hardcore, live out in the wild, and so I thought, why not? What's better than camping out for some chicken? So, hey, we've been here since about 5 o'clock this morning and waiting to set up our tents, and we're, we're here for the long haul. Chick-fil-A has held the first 100 event for seven years, where customers camp outside the store for 24 hours before opening day in order to gain 52 free meals, one free meal per week for over a year. Our first 100 event is a media event. We established the first 100 event for our raving fans, and they're the ones that advertise the best for us. So all 100 people tell 100 of their friends to come eat more chicken. There are rules to enter, but some participants just missed the mark. Well, so I came here at about five in the morning, you know, wanted to win some free chicken, and Mama Sue said you had to be 18, and I'm six months away from that. So now I'm just here at the Chick-fil-A parking lot, just freezing my tail off. But I get free chicken, and I get to hang out with them, and it's supposed to be a lot of fun. Throughout the day, campers were fed and entertained, including a tailgate party with a real live DJ. Well, we get a lot of Chick-fil-A sandwiches and food today, which is always a plus. I'm looking forward to hanging out with friends um, for 24 hours, and I'm hoping we get some snow sometime in this event. Yeah, I'm hoping so. Uh, my favorite part is just the atmosphere. It's just fun, you know? It's just a bunch of people you get together, and just have fun and then you get free food so that's fun too. All in all, Chick-fil-A hopes this event will inspire more people to visit their restaurant and eat more chicken. For Lion TV News, this is Corey Webb. That's really cool that they do that to get the community involved. I tell you what it is. If you have not paid for or ordered your yearbook yet, you may either go to JostinsYearbooks.com or call 1-866 282-1516 to order your issued yearbook. Once again, that's 1-866-282-1516. Justin's must receive your payment by February 7th. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Hollyfield or call 1-866-282-1516. Corey, you know yeah. what my favorite time of the year is? What? My birthday. I tell you. Is it your birthday today? It's not. Is it anybody's birthday today? It well, it could I mean, be. I'm sure nobody would know. Right. Nobody well, would know. is it your birthday today? Because if it is, nobody knows because you didn't have it announced on this show, Jumpstart. If you have a birthday coming up or know of a friend or a piece of family that has turning another year older or younger, if that's possible, you can have just a name announced for $1 or a name and a picture for $2. That's one more than $1. You can bring information to Miss Romy, room 405, located on the second floor of the PAC building. Now here's... Jordan Morris with your Cersei Sports. I'm getting out of here. I'm doing sports. <laughs>
Good morning, Cersei High School. I'm Jordan Morris, here to do your Cersei Line sport announcements. Fellowship of Christian Athletes who want to attend the ASU basketball game day, February 2nd, need to pay the fee of $20 if they wish to be present. Basketball hosted Little Rock Hall last Friday, but due to press time, we will have those scores later for you. Wrestling will be in the Conway Tournament this Saturday, so throughout this week, be wishing them good luck with their matches. That is all I have for sports. Now back to the news desk. Thanks, Jordan. You're welcome. Yeah. It's time to make nominations for Mr. and Mrs. SHS. You know, I wish you were a senior and a girl. I wish you were a girl and I was a senior. Right, we would win. We'd win. We'd win for sure. <laughs> nominations are located in both East and West offices. If you are a senior, you may make nominations before school, between classes preferably, or after school only. Either way. Each senior may nominate one girl and one boy. FCCLA members who ordered club t-shirts need to pick up their shirt in the FACS room. You can also order a district t-shirt for the meeting on February 8th, but you need to place your order by this Friday. The cost is $10. That's pretty cheap for a t-shirt. FBLA willing to serve at the Hall of Honor banquet, please stop by Ms. Latimer's room Room 206 today and sign up. Now here is your Cersei weather with Lake and Isom. That's me, but whatever. Good morning, Cersei High School. I'm Lake and Isom once again here to do your weather. Let's start off with this Cersei Almanac. Today we have a high of 40, average of 53, and a record high of 80 set in 1950. That's burning hot. And 29 is the low with an average of 32 and a record low of 3 set in 1963. What a coinky dink. Let's move it over to that five cast. <laughs> Monday, we have snow rolling in through Wednesday, keeping it in the mid 30s. Thursday, we're coming in with a partly cloudy day. It's high of 45, low of 28. Friday, keeping in with that hot weather, 48, 31, and a very sunny day. Let's move over to see what's for lunch. Today, we have beef. Fiestada pizza, refried beans, tossed salad with dressing, pineapple chunks, and that delicious, fabulously nutritious milk. That's it for weather. Now back to the news desk. Thanks, Lakin. Great job. Now for the answer to the question of the day. Ooh, I'm excited. Your question was, where was the number zero invented? And the answer was A, India. Zero was invented by India as actually is invented by Indians in India Indians. because India is a place. As early as the 5th century, they widely used it in calculations with their calculators as well as astronomy. Hold on, and hold on. did they have calculators back then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Keep as well as astronomy and astrology with their telescopes. Because they had that. Yeah. Zero was spread by Arabians to the Europe and there on it was spread all over. Before this, all Europeans used Roman numerical, which was difficult to calculate on, as, as they were in the form of symbols, lengthy and had limits. New math multiplication method. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's all I really know how to say. Obviously, Woo! grammar was not their strong yes, point. that was they straight focused, from the internet. focused on math. <laughs> Even um, though that's hard to believe, that's all a fact. Man, that was sure funny, though. All right, that's all we've got for this episode of Lion TV Jumpstart. I'm Corey Webb. And I'm Jordan Morris. Once again, Cersei High School, remember, <laughs> don't not to take, take any wooden nickels. nickels. <laughs> that's what my grandfather said.